yesterday on One Man and His Dog. Oh, she's oh, come away, she's, she's come away. Dad! They're going wait, in wait, backwards. Wait. As long as they're in. Oh, wait. what a disappointment. Ooh. Ooh. She's done it. Things could go oh. dramatically wrong. Ooh. Oh. Well, that was sensational, wasn't it? to the glorious Somerset countryside where our four national teams are battling it out to become champions of One Man and His Dog 2010. Now we are at the crucial halfway stage in the competition and already we've seen some spectacular shepherding skills. In the Young Handlers round it was Cormac that took Ireland into a storming lead but with two rounds left in the brace and that all-important singles round everything is left to play for. Now in the brace so far, we've seen Wales and Scotland and they've set a blistering pace. Can England and Ireland keep up? Well, to find out, you're just going to have to keep watching. As ever, we've got our trialling experts with us, Matt Baker and Gus Dermody. Guys, could you just remind us about that very tricky brace course? Well, the handler sends one dog to the left, the other to the right, to reach 10 sheep at the bottom of the course. The dogs approach the sheep and together get them to move gently towards the handler with the lift and then the fetch. The dogs then take the sheep on a triangular drive through two sets of gates ending in the shedding ring where the handler together with either dog has to divide the ten sheep into two equal lots of five. Then the handler must choose one dog to move five sheep to an open pen. This same dog must be used for the entire penning process and must hold the sheep in the pen until the round is complete. The remaining dog then moves the last group of five sheep towards the gated pen. The trial is complete when those five sheep are in the pen and the gate is closed. The course should be completed within 18 minutes and there's a total of 140 points available. Thanks Matt and Gus. Now this is where our judges, John Robinson and Dick Montgomery, keep their beady eyes on proceedings and deduct points for mistakes made. Now currently it's Ian Jones from Wales who's ahead in the brace, but can Richard Hutchinson from England snatch that lead with his dogs Roy and Sweep? The farm I work on is the farm I've been brought up on and my family's lived here for over a hundred years. Hey Roy, Sweep! You can tell the difference between Roy and Sweep as Roy has a white blaze down his face and a red collar, and Sweep has a black face and a blue collar. Roy is six years old and he's been a very good dog for me. He's been quite consistent in the trialling and he's been an excellent work dog day to day. We've got a bond together now where he generally knows what I want. He's a very calm dog and he's a very loyal dog. He won't go with anybody else. Lay down, lay down. Sweep is Roy's son. He's just two and a half years old now. So he's only a young dog. His training's gone on really well and I'm really pleased with his early trialling career. Uh, this will actually be his first race competition and I'm hoping he shows us what he can do. I'd love to win Woman and his dog due to the fact I'm up against some of the best handlers in the country who have also proved themselves numerous times with race handling. When I'm competing at trials, especially the big events I do, I get nervous. And with brace, it can go very well, but it can equally go very badly and very quickly badly. So I'll be a little bit nervous about that, but uh, I'll try and enjoy it anyway. <laughs> so then here comes Richard with the father and son dog team. Roy then with distinctive red collar will be running off to the left. Richard, a bit of a one-man veteran, appeared in the young handlers. The sweep dogs away to the right. And then uh, ran the brace as well. Last year, ooh, there goes Roy. Sweep came on the inside of the trees, but he's recovered. Remember, in the brace, each dog responds to their own specific set of whistles. Yeah. Roy's going now over, so Roy's now on our right and sweep on the left. Well, that was quite a recovery. Roy's outrun 18 points. His son got 15. And top marks for both dogs for their lifts. 
Sheep coming down towards the fetch gate, slightly offline at the moment. He's gone wide, he needs to come more to guide these sheep into the gates. He's recovered. Here, here, here. Yes, he's got to be here, careful here, here. that he has to keep calling sweep in because he, he's got quite a doing wide turns as he comes down the fetch. But that's nice now, they're nicely balanced up. Lie down. So milling now as the Richard tries to get these sheep up Lie to down. his feet Lie and down. to turn onto the drive. Roy coming up steady. Lie down. Sweep Lie down. is at the back. Roy just coming onto Lie. the sheep now, pushing them. Six points lost on the fetch. Yeah, 14 out of 20 is a good score. Towards the uh, drive gates, very, very nice this bit. Come by. But interesting the technique here of using the younger dog to push them on and the older dog to sort of Come keep by. them on the right line. To keep them steady and on the right line, yes, yeah, very true. Oh, this is good, this is good, this is nice pacing of the sheep. As we look over Richard's shoulder as the sheep pass the fetch gates. So Richard here. Looking to hold on to every single point that he can. They're starting to go uphill a little bit. Sweet waiting for the next command. This is going to be tight. Oh, it's good. It's good. There's nothing wrong with Richard's eyesight. <laughs> it's the sheep turn now in towards this second drive gate. Roy coming round, the sheep coming through. I think this dog's a tremendous dog. You can sometimes let him down on an outrun or the start of an outrun, but which as he did again this time. But uh, but he did a quick recovery, and I think he's a, a great dog. This uh, this sweet dog. Well, the Lie sheep down. are in there, so Richard's Lie entitled down. to leave the post, and there he goes. Lie down. Stay there. Twenty-five yard circle. This. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Twenty-three Stay and a half scored for the drive. Stay there. Stay there. Here. Right. Stay there. Stay there! Lie down! Lie down! Lie down! That was four sheep to the left, six stayed on the right. It Lie was down. a shame. His opportunity is coming again now. Lie down! Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. So he'll be disappointed Here. that he Stay didn't there. get it the Stay first there. time. Lie down! But his maths are right Lie this Lie time. Lie down. Lie down. Lie down. Lie down. Lie down. Lie down. Just three points lost for the shed. Lie down. Lie Poised down. there of Roy, absolutely lie ready down. to take the next lie command. Down. Lie down, lie down. There we are. Look lie at that, down. and Roy never lie moved. Down. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Lie down. Sweet, sweet. Now that's interesting. He's, he's let him stay on his feet. Not many handlers do lie that. Down. Lie down. But there we go. Roy just losing the lie one down. point for his pen. Lie down. Nine scored. Lie down. Light, get out. But we've got a burst away now at the gated pen. Oh dear, they're all over the shop now. And there's Light one down. could make a dash for the ungated pen. Oh. This could be trouble. This could be trouble. And my word. Well, Roy's gone right up in my estimation. Never moved. It's like a statue, isn't he? He <laughs> certainly is. Light down. Quite sweep. That's the other tester. Lie down. Lie down. It's yes. interesting. This could be, could lie be down. it. It lie could down. be it. Lie down. Lie now for the awkward you near to Richard. Yeah, in you go. He says that way. That's Richard it. And in. <laughs> <laughs> what a cracking finish! Walk this way. <laughs> And let's have a look and see what Roy has got to say about that. There was never any doubt, was there, Roy? <laughs> Four scored for Sweep's pen. That's a total of 110 and a half. It's all very close, this. The last bit at the end where the, the sheep was obviously looking at the dog and stamping at the dog, it was a bit of a worry. I thought, I thought he'd back it in all right, but the problem sheep was one just behind. It was a little bit lively, last speckle face one, so that was a bit of a problem. So, but it worked out. 
patience paid off and Richard achieved another excellent score. But it's Wales still out in front in the brace and it's down to Sammy Long from Ireland with his dogs Moss and Sam to see if he can clinch victory. I've been trailing for say, approximately 30 years probably. You know. It's a big part of my life now, trailing and dogs. Mostly I would have about four dogs for my daily work and I would keep about 10 to 12 for bringing on young ones again, you know. I think it's satisfactory when you get a dog maybe starting off from being very bold and aggressive to work them down into your way of going again then. These are my two dogs, Moss and Sam. They're everyday working dogs and uh, they do trials as well and do them quite well. Moss is a cool type of dog. Not too pushy but firm at the same time with stock. Sam would be a very good driving dog. He would be a bit shyer and he would be easier offended. So he would. Them dogs are quite fond of me. They're as fond of me as I am of them. They're not just pieces of equipment to me. They're part of the farm and they're friends of mine, really. So I give them a good life and they give it back to me. I have never competed in one man's dog before. I probably will be a bit nervous before the competition, but I do intend to give it my best shot. What niggles me most out of the trial is a dog that won't listen. If I could have word with each of my dogs before the trial, I would advise them to do exactly as I tell them. Well, I'm sure Sammy has had a word with his dogs. Let's see if that advice pays off. There goes Sam, first of all. Moss away to the right. Yeah, it's a good outrun. He's certainly giving plenty of room. Just a but unfortunately, quick. Moss has cleared the fence and he's going over towards the Cheddar Gorge. Well, <laughs> it is a lovely area, but there isn't really time for sightseeing. <laughs> he's starting to come back now. Here we he's, go. Coming, he's coming back now. He's certainly good at agility. Now he's asking him left. Ah, he's locked on now. And now we get to the lift. 18 scored then for Sam's outrun. And just one given for Moss's outrun. Both scored seven for their lifts. Sheep are coming down the field. It's a nice jog trot. They're coming down now. Moss is bending wide to the right. The sheep coming down towards the fetch gates now. They're on line. Well, they're stood right in front of where they need to be. And they're through and now. They're through. Yes, and so they start to come up the hill towards uh, towards Samilong. The sheep swinging a little bit left and right. They've just gone a little bit off course now to the left. As they come up towards the handler. Stand here. Watch, watch. Keep Sam. Stand here. Stand here. Watch, watch, watch. Stand here, Sam. Stand here. Stand here. Keep. Stand here. Watch, watch. It's a good tight Stand turn, there. Sam. Coming round. Followed closely by Moss. He's pushing them onto that line. Five points lost for the fetch. Well, the sheep are going down the hill towards the first drive gates. They're going nicely on line towards these gates. Everything at this stage under control. Sam coming round now on the far side, looking in as he comes round. Sam seems to be the steadier of the two dogs. He, he does. He's slightly unsettled, maybe Moss having, you know, gone for his little yeah, trip. Yeah, very un, very unnerving, because the dog knows when the partner's done a little bit of wrong. Off he goes. Perfect positioning from Sam, and super timing from Sammy. Yeah, that was well, well taken. It really was. The 
looking over Sammy's shoulder there. The sheep are coming into the shedding ring now. And that comes to the end of the drive itself and the start of the shed. 22 and a half scored for the drive. It looks like Stand. he's going to be using Moss. Stand there. Stand there. Stand there. Stand there. Good. Moss he runs yes. through. Perfect. Stand there, Moss. Stand there. Stand there. Steady, Moss. Stand. Full marks Stand. for the shed. Stand there, Moss. We'll see if Moss can make amends for uh, there, for the outrun and put these sheep into the pen clean. We stand there. We stand there. Stand there. Stay. Come back. Come back. Come well, the sheep are breaking Moss, away. Come back. Come back. Moss, 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 Obviously, points yeah, yeah, will Moss, have been Moss, lost Moss, Moss, for the sheep Moss, getting Moss, away Moss, from the pen. Moss, Moss. Stay there, Sam. Stand there. Oh, stand there. Stand. Stand there. Come There's that eel down, again, but it's this down. time she's been boxed. So will she go in and take the others with her? One's undecided. Oh no, oh, go on. Down a quick twirl and then <laughs> <laughs> finish on a flourish. <laughs> right, so that's the first of the two pens complete. Just four points then for the first pen. Stand here, sir. Come here. Stand here. Moss lying down there. He's not moved from the pen, not paying attention to the sheep in the pen, but he's desperate to see how uh, Sam's getting on, and Sam's Stand doing here. well. Keep, keep. Stand here. Come here. Sam, Sam. Stand here. Steady, Stand Sam. Here. Just Come overflank here. that little Stand. bit. Brought two Stand. out. So it's not going to be clean, Stand but here. at the same time, I think it's going to be successful. Standing. Yes, in they Standing. are. In they go, and a lovely ripple of applause down the valley from the crowd. Sammy Long and his brace team score seven and a half at the second pen. That's a total of 92. Well, Ireland won the last round, but they have to settle for fourth in the brace. The start wasn't good at all. Mossy actually ran to the right and he ran too wide. He missed a sheep, so... After the start, I was quite pleased with the rest of it, you know. Well, Gus, a prime example, really, in this brace competition of uh, the difficulty of working with two dogs, especially when one of the team is really rather eager. We'll start with Ian Jones, uh, with his dogs, Jess uh, and Tom. And really, after Jess had penned the first lot of sheep, she didn't really want to hang around and stay there and watch them, did she? No, she was a bit of a workaholic and was desperate to help Tom out then when uh, he was at the pen. Okay, well, talking of workaholics, we'll move on to uh, Peter Martin and one of his dogs, uh, Tess. They're very pushy indeed. I mean, she just constantly wanted to get round and, and bring the sheep back to Peter. Yeah, on, on the drive. She was okay up until the drives, and then he had difficulties there, and that's where he lost his points, yeah. Okay, well, we'll move on to uh, Richard with his dogs, Roy and Sweep, father and son team, and there really was, you could sense the communication between the two dogs, couldn't you, really? Between the dogs themselves, yes, it yeah. was amazing. When uh, Roy had put them into the pen, he stood absolutely like a statue for a long time while Sweep was trying to get them in. He, he sort of looked slowly round, and when he did that, it was as if, come on, my boy, get a move on, and, and of course, Sweep did the honours then, and in they went. Well, Sammy Long had a bit of a time with one of his dogs, Moss, there. Lost 19 points. It was a terrible start. I mean, he ran off the course. <laughs> yeah, he got to the top of the hill. There were no sheep there as far as he could see, so he just cleared the fence and kept going. And why do you think he, was, he, he kept looking for sheep? Well, it, that, that's how the dogs are. When they're sent off to the right, they think they've got to keep going until they find sheep. He, he, he missed seeing them on the left, and he just kept going. And as far as the Irish team are concerned, I mean, they, they were going into this round in the lead, and they're now going into the final round last. Yeah, tragic, really. Now, our winners were Wales, and I'm here with Ian Jones, victorious, well done, Ian, with his dogs, Tom and Jess. Now, Ian, they did give us a nervous moment during the penning because they were keen as mustard and each seemed to want to help each other. How are you feeling at that crucial point? Not much. <laughs> well, you want eyes in the back of your head, I suppose. You but, do, uh, don't you? I mean, how, how do you manage it? Because you do seem to literally be able to know exactly what the other dog is doing while you're concentrating on a fairly unruly bunch of sheep. Yeah, but uh, it was my fault, really, at the, sec the second pen, because I give the first dog's commands to the second dog by accident, and 
<laughs> and she moves like lightning anyway. They do. Well, they were very quick. They were yeah. very good. And, and it brought victory for Wales. So many thanks. Uh, congratulations to all our other competitors. As I said, a very fine round. So now let's recap on the scores for the brace. Ireland came fourth. England was third. Scotland second. And Wales came in first. So as a result of the brace, what is our leaderboard looking like? Well, Ireland is in fourth place with 181 and a half points. Wales is lying third with 187 and a half points. England is in second place with 198 and a half points. And just ahead by a single point is Scotland with 199 and a half points. So incredibly close, congratulations to the Scottish team, but it means that this next and final round is absolutely crucial. It could all change in the singles. And here are Matt and Gus to tell us about the course. The first group of seven sheep are set at the far end of the field and the handler sends his dog out to the left on the first outrun, 20 points. The dog approaches the sheep and gets them to move gently back towards the handler with the lift, 10 points. The sheep are then taken through the gates, on the fetch, towards the handler, 20 points. Once all seven sheep are through the gates and the dog is on the handler's side of the fetch gates, the handler sends his dog back out on a second outrun, this time to the right to collect a second group of seven sheep. Another 20 points are available. The dog approaches this group of sheep and gets them to move gently back towards the handler with the lift, 10 points. The sheep are then taken on the same fetch and both sets of sheep are regrouped, another 20 points available. Next it's the drive, starting to the left the dog must take the sheep over a triangular course through two sets of drive gates. The drive ends when the sheep end up the shedding ring, 30 points. In the shedding ring one of the four sheep with red collars has to be singled off and held by the dog to the judge's satisfaction, 10 points. The sheep are then moved over to the pen and as always the trial is complete when all 14 sheep are in the pen and the gate is closed, a final 10 points available. The course should be completed within 20 minutes, there is a whopping 150 points at stake. Thanks Matt, well 150 points could make an enormous difference to the state of our leaderboard. I'm here with the judges, Dick and John, I've let them off their windy tower, it's getting a little bit chilly and cloudy now yeah. isn't it? Um, but Dick, have you been impressed with the standard in this competition so far? Yes, I've been extremely um, impressed with the standard of the handers, the presentation of the sheep and the general um, amenability of the sheep. But. John, mm -hmm. we are neck and neck almost, That's well right. England and, and Scotland neck and neck, one point one in point, it. Yes. Do you think that this very tough singles course is going to separate the men from the boys? Well it could do, yes, and, but it could be all down to the sheep as Dick said, it. but the sheep have been good, so hopefully we'll have a good competition. Oh, well I think we are yeah. in for an exciting time, yeah. so without further ado let's start this final crucial leg of the competition. Our first competitor is from Ireland, let's meet him. My name is Alistair Lytle and this year I'll be running my dog Spot. The funny thing about Spot, he has got no spots, but he's got a blue eye. Hopefully it's his good eye, the blue-eyed boy, on the day. <laughs> I live on a farm in Donegal. It's been a farm in the family for generations, as long as I remember. There's nowhere else I'd rather live than here in Ireland. There's no place like home. Wait. I was eight or nine when I ran at a little local trial, just solely with a dog of dad's that wasn't really listening to me right. That got me interested. I was on one man this dog when I was 13. Maybe just didn't do as well as I had hoped, but it was enjoyable. It's something you become very passionate about or you just, you seem to enjoy and you get it in your blood. The international side has become a very big end of the sheepdog world now. It has given me so much travel, parts of the world I'd never been in, like Norway, Sweden, America. This year I've been invited to judge their national finals, which is a very big honour to be asked to do something like that. It would be a great honour to represent Ireland on the competition, but to win it would be excellent.
comes spot with Alastair Lytle there with it all to do for Ireland that distinctive blue eye wall eye as it's known and off he goes nice and wide and the sheep are a little bit over to the left hand side which shouldn't be too much of a problem but it's no, not they, ideal no they do go the dog loses sight of them just at that point now as he's coming around now they're back into view so but he's taking a very good line round and stopped nicely behind the sheep and it looks as if the dog stopped short but he's got to bring them diagonally across the field so the judges won't be knocking many points off here and it's a very good start top marks for the outrun 20 points given just one lost for the lift He's on 29 so far. The line is good. Uh, the pace is good. Because the dogs are spending so much time at the far end of the field, you will be hearing lots of whistles here. Voice commands would just be lost. When the dog gets to this post, the dog will be asked to go back to our right. He's looking back. There's a wood. He's going to need to go on the right-hand side of the wood, and he's casting out well. 16 points out of 20 for the fetch. Oh, this is a this is a good turn back. There's Malcolm just standing there. He was holding those sheep in position for spot. He's known as our head of sheep on one man and his dog. And just one point lost for his second outrun. Nine for the lift. This is incredible. But very, very shortly, the sheep and the dog are going to go out of sight of Alistair as they go behind the wood. Be out of sight from him, I would say, around about now. So now the dog is being left uh, to bring the sheep across. Now they've just come, just come into view around the wood, and he now has to bring them through the original fetch gates again they're coming down at some speed towards these other sheep he covered well with the dog and they're, they're lining up for the fetch gates and they're all safely through so this is this is shaping up to be a good trial it really is okay so they all join together and then they'll travel up towards Alistair up and round the post before they go off on their cross drive that's it so we've now got 14 sheep which are obviously a lot more sheep than we've been using so far in the competition and it's going to be difficult to get all 14 through these obstacles but they're nicely bunched now they've now got to try and fit between the pen and Alistair who's standing at the handler's post as they set off on the on the drive now towards the first drive gates 18 points for the fetch yeah the line is good the pace is good Oh, and they're really bunched up tight, so it looks like we're going to get the first drive gate. Yeah, right through the middle. This is good stuff. No problems at all. And just to note, actually, that those uh, gates are at exactly the same distance apart as they have been for all of the other rounds previous. So no allowance made. And he's certainly getting them across there. It's a fair old jog trot. But the bang on line, it's looking very, very good at the moment. Maybe just coming a little bit uphill, but it's good. Already spots positioned on the top side and round he goes, takes that come by command, but may have been a little early. Ooh. Just that little bit, but I think he'll cover and then get them round. They're still nicely bunched, so that's looking good for him. Perfect. Yes, that was good all through. All safely through. And on the way now to the shedding ring. Come on up. Bang. Now, from wanting them all in a tight bunch, he wants them to string out so that he can pick one of these collared ewes out and take it away from the others. 24 scored for the drive. Well, that's a good, that's a good score. That's a good score. I'd certainly be happy with that, and it was a good drive. But here we are in this uh, shedding ring where we've got to single one of these red collared sheep away, and there's the walleye showing on spot as he's... Looking. It doesn't affect the dog, and here we go. It's coming on for the single. And they're all out. The others yeah, are all run out. Oh, but I, I think the judges will accept that. Nine scored for the single. Oh, well, there we go. There we go. Well, what a round this is for Ireland. They needed the points, but anything can happen when there's 150 points on offer. So they're very nicely poised just outside the 
pen mouth. Bam. Couple of them looking Bam. in. Bam. 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 And there we Bam. are. In they go. A completed course. And listen to the Not crowd. Job spot. done. Not Ten spot. points spot. for the pen. Let's total up all of the points awarded for that round. 134. Let's go pen side and have a word with Alistair. Very happy with that. Yeah. It was a good opening score, so it leaves everybody else under a little more pressure now. <laughs> A stunning round from Alistair, and he and Spot have well and truly put Ireland back in the game, which means that Gwyn Jones from Wales really has his work cut out. This young lady is Nell, and I'll be competing with her at One Man and His Dog. And I've had her since she's been 11 months old, and she'll be 10 next year. Stay there, stay there. <laughs> she was quite an erratic young bitch, you know, full of life and full of mischief but I really like the challenge. Nell is quite strong-willed, but um, I prefer dogs like that. That'll do. Nell! You know, like people. We're different, aren't we? <laughs> what makes her very special? In July 2005, she got hurt, and it took three and a half years for her to get better and come strong again. I think she did remarkably well, you know, to come back. I enjoy trialling because of the competition. The stiffer the competition, the better it is. You have to dig deep at times. You know, I've won the Welsh National Championship and the North Wales Championship last year. I am proud to represent my country. Nell will work well and uh, hopefully she'll have a decent uh, run. <laughs> she looks a character over there. <laughs> Nell's got a very special place in my heart. Nell's been good to me and I try to be good to her as well. Well, how wonderful to see Cluid Nell here, obviously after her injury, but she's uh, looking in good form. And of course, under the command of Gwyn Jones here, vastly experienced trialer. So many championships under his belt and hopefully He's going to be doing his bit for Wales here. And what a nice, quiet whistle. And immediately she responded to it. So it'd be interesting to see how this fellow, who really is, he's won the Supreme three times. He is a tremendous handler. 19 points for Nell's outrun. And one point lost for the lift. Oh, that's good. That's good. And this line is good as well. The pace is right. They're coming towards the fetch gates now. Okay. Nicely bunched. That. Nice and steady. Oh, that. and right through the middle. At that post, she'll be asked to go back for another lot of sheep. And if you're wondering where the second group of sheep are, they're being held at the right-hand side of the field, just off screen there, just so the dog doesn't get distracted. And an interesting command, the look back you often find that the dog kind of spin on a sixpence and that's why I brought it all the way around and that come by so that when she did turn she was looking right back and could pick up those sheep at the top of the field 17 out of 20 for the fetch yeah just coming on to this second group of sheep 18 points for the second outrun 9 for the second lift so he's one point behind Alistair at this stage and there they go out of view from him because we're looking over his shoulder at the moment so away we go again they're on line for the gates are they going to pull hard across the gates towards the other sheep they're coming down at a fair old pace but he's covered oh this is good and look at that as soon as they're through and the pressure was off they're trying to break away to the left so these sheep off on a little journey around Gwyn and then back onto the cross drive. Gwyn still using whistle commands even though um, you know Nell was working so closely. Just a little bit compact around this this top end of the course. But he's got them bunched nicely now and round they come. Sixteen and a half for the second fetch. It's out of the 20 points. 
Well, this is a nicely controlled run. And look at that first drive gate right the way through the middle. Nell coming round. Just lying down on command. Up she gets. And now walking onto the sheep again. Well, he's going to need a near perfect cross drive here if he wants to stay within reach of Alistair. Stand! Stand! And this is where they can gather a little bit of speed as they go up the slight rise towards the second drive gate. They've got to go behind that first gate and then turn all the 14 sheep around to their right to get into the gate. Oh, but they've got, no. she took a wrong command and the sheep swung out to the right. He's got them boxed, but that's going to cost him quite a few points. It's going to be little things like that going wrong that's going to make all the difference between winning and losing here today, I'm sure of it. Stand. 24 scored for the drive. Well, and what a shot now of this shedding ring. You've got them bang in the middle. That's really good. He's definitely got Stand. two sorted out on the top side there. Stand. <laughs> you could just see the look on her face. She's like, what? <laughs> me? Not me. <laughs> Getting them to string out a little bit. Stand. Stand there. Here's a chance on the back. This Stand. could be it. This Will he go me. for it? No, no, no. He was just Stand. tightening up too much. Many people might be sat at home thinking, four collars on all of these sheep, be dead easy to get one off. <laughs> it's just showing if this fella can't get them off, then I'm sure they couldn't either. If, if it isn't actually there and he doesn't ask the dog in, then he can't lose any points. So, although this is taking time, he won't be losing many points. Chance on the right again. It might be, it might be. Come in now, great. Full Let him. Let him. points for the shed, Look back. or the single as it's known. <whistles> yeah, they're coming nicely towards the pan. Watch this now, just watch this. Oh, <laughs> oh my <hey>. word! <laughs> <laughs> it can go against you in places and it can run for you at others. Come Let on, him. the last one. Oh no, come Let on, him. the split. <laughs> we don't want a single now, we want Let the him. lot. Oh. This, oh, yeah, come on, you three. And then there was three. Oh, man. <laughs> Go and join yeah. the party. Collared you. Watch us separate from the others. Oh, wow. Well yes. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> what a wonderful Wowie. round from Gwyn and his dog, Nell. Well, he pens the sheep in under a minute and he gets maximum points. What a finish for Gwyn and Nell. We'll add all of his points up together. And they get a total of 132 and a half. I'm very pleased they got finished, but there were uh, a few iffy points along the way. <laughs> but uh, I was very happy the way the bitch worked. She did well, and uh, as you know, I'm a bit hampered in moving, but uh, together we, we got finished anyway. <laughs> A stunning round from Gwyn and Nell there. Uh, it did feel, though, like he was never going to be able to split that single U off from the flock in the shedding ring, but he did it. A wonderful score, just not good enough to beat the Irish one. So, can England's man keep up this extremely high standard? <whistles> I'm Eamon, I'm from the Isle of Wight, and this year I'll be running my dog Bill. Stan, Bill, here to me, here to me, here, Stan, Stan. Bill's a wonderful chap. His first love is definitely sheep and working sheep, and I think he quite likes me as well. I came to the Isle of Wight to manage a riding school, and the job fell through, but I met my wife. I was quite keen on her at the time, and so my wife had a horse, I kept her horse for her, and she fed me in return. That was the deal. <laughs> I got the better part. I started trialling originally through one man and his dog. That was my incentive, I just loved it. It looks quite simple, um, but in fact, to be able to control a dog at a distance, control a group of sheep, 
control yourself and your nerves, uh, it's all asking quite a lot. I thought when Bill was very, very young that he had something just a bit different about him. He had a tremendous natural feel for sheep. He went very badly at the first trial, barked like mad at the person who was letting the sheep out. But then he went on and he did very well. Yeah, if I could have a word in Bill's ear, I'd just say go out and do what you can do best. Bill, stand. Good man, stand there. Well, with just one point separating England and Scotland, I guess the whole of the England team have been saying to Bill, just go out there and do what you do best. He's standing by. Poised and ready and off he goes. Out to the left. The long out run all the way up the top of the field, up to the top left, to gather that first group of sheep. Now he needs to stop him just a little bit short, on which he's done. That's great. Off to a superb start. Full marks for the outrun, full marks for the lift. Oh, well done England, and Eamon, and Bill. The dog is a fair distance back, but they're reacting to every movement that the dog is making, so uh, the dog is exerting his authority here as they come right towards the uh, centre of these fetch gates. Eighteen and a half for the first fetch. Now a blowback whistle to come. Look back! He's asking him to look back. He's asking them again. Will he go to the right or the left of the trees? Right asking here. him right now. Each time the handler asks the dog back, it's going to be him. points taken off. We don't want him to cross course here. He hasn't seen him. He's out of sight. Eamon will be worried to death, wondering where on earth he is. And there he comes into view. And everything's recovered again, but it's going to be points lost. That could have been a lot worse, though. I mean, Bill there was literally listening to what, you know, Eamon was saying. Look round, look round, look round. And he couldn't see the sheep. And usually the dog locks on, doesn't it? He does. He does. Vital points lost on that second outrun, just 11 scored. Maximum points for the second lift. Well, the sheep are now have gone out of the sight of Eamon again. They're just going up the hill a little bit, but Eamon can't see that yet. He, there they just come into view, and they're coming round the edge of the wood towards the fetch gates. Yeah, things looking back on track a little bit. Oh, they're bearing to the right. Oh, oh. And to the left, will he do it? <laughs> they don't want to come through, but he's, he's bossed them. They are through now. So Bill's bringing the first group back now onto the centre of the course and there's a really lively collared ewe leading them down. Is she going to hit the other sheep and go straight past? She's going at a tremendous rate. Oh, they've all joined up. Oh, here we are, folks. That's it. We will stick together after all. Yes, that was life over that side of the trial field. <laughs> <laughs> but this is where the dog has to put a little bit more pressure on because of the... Uh, the things that are at the top of the field, it can sometimes put the sheep off. The dog has to put that little bit of pressure on onto them to get them to come round. So far, so good. They should set off now at a fair old pace down towards the first drive gate. 16 for the fetch. Hey. Well, the line's good. Everything going well. They're going at a fair old pace towards the drive gates, and they're well through, but the, the trouble is they might go a distance through and maybe just lose couple of points there because they've gone fairly wide. Well, we've seen all the handlers have a slight issue with this part of the course as the, the sheep are keen to go up the hill and they just tend to come up the field a little bit. I'd be getting a little bit uneasy. See, he's asking him left and now don't want these sheep to turn in too early. That, uh, that is, But now he's asking him round oh, that looks and good. stopped. And he needs to ask him again before they start to spread. But there we go, all 14 sheep through the second drive gates and now off towards the shedding ring. Eamon goes in now to meet them. 26 and a half scored for the drive. Stand. Now there's a chance on the left. Stand. Will he Here get me. it? Here's the gap. But oh, he's got stand. two of them. Oh. He can't. That's God dear. Oh dear. And he bangs his stick down in disgust. <laughs> That's going to cost him. Oh dear, dear, dear. And so, they're all out. Yeah, so a little move like that, and that's caused all, a lot of damage. Back on the right again. Come, come, come. 
No. That, here, yes, that, yes, wait, 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 yes. Wait. Come here, on, right, come in. No, she didn't come in soon enough. More points gone. We've got a chance now. The top side. There we are. There we go. Oh. One coming with it. Will here, she come here, in? Here, here, here. Yes. And look at that, Hugo. That was the one. My word. She's you need a saddle it. on that one. <laughs> She's doing a faster <laughs> outrun than uh, than Bill did. <laughs> this is Eamon's connection with horses. I bet he thinks he wishes he could be riding it and not just <laughs> driving it. <laughs> Half a point then for that single. See if that collared you will lead lead the men. She's looking. Another one's starting to lead in. Will we get the men? Go on. They're looking. They're looking. They've got to go. And, and in goes the last what one. The what about that? <laughs> <laughs> stand still. Stand still. Maximum given. Here, bro. Here. And oh my word. Here. 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 That Here. gives Here. the England team ah. 122 and a half. I just knew I had to do a really good round and then hope that Bobby didn't do quite as good a one and it's, that's a lot to hope for. He, after all, is three times Supreme International Champion and I'm just a boy. <laughs> it was all going so well. Eamon and Bill had an almost faultless round until this point in the course, the dreaded shedding ring. And now it's time for our final competitor in this, the singles round. Can Scotland clinch victory and be named champions of this year's One Man and His Dog? Let's find out. This is Joe, he's six years old, and I'm Bobby DL from the Ettrick Valley in Scotland. I got Joe when he was 11 months old, and then when I started working, I thought, this is not such a bad dog. Joe's a very friendly dog, and he's always happy. That's what I like about him. I don't think I've ever had as happy a dog. Come, time. I'm a teacher. I try to learn people to run dogs the way I like to run them. We get a lot of people from abroad come, in all stages. I'm still farming, but it's not in a conventional way. It's just nice to see them develop and, you know, hopefully have some success. So it's good experience for a dog. I got any trialling years ago when a friend took me to a nursery trial and had a shot and I thought I quite like this. It gave me quite a thrill, especially if you had a good run and your dog's going well. Hey, lie down. When they come close in, I like to speak to my dogs rather than whistle. And? But for distance, you need the whistle, so you're going to be shouting all the time. It's a wee bit noisy. Bye-bye. I thought he'd been a chef once in the army when I was a wee boy, but my grandfather changed my mind. So I can always see myself working with sheep, you know, an old man in my Zimmer frame just tottering about with a dog. That'll do, Joe. Bobby far from needing a Zimmer frame. In fact, he needs no aid at all because he's more than capable on the trials field. He's won three Supremes and five Scottish national titles. And Joe's going out well, looking in, but getting out at the same time. The sheep are settled at the far end of the field and he's coming round onto them now. And the whistle command stops the dog. Just coming on to the sheep. And that's a good start. Well, this team need 122 points for Scotland to win this year's one man and his dog. Outrun 19 scored. Lift 9. Well, that's good. Only two points dropped, and he's got them on a good line. Joe's got them right in the centre now, working close up behind these sheep and yet they're not panicking. Through the gates. 18 for the fetch. He's asking him right now, that's a blowback. He's going back too straight. He's having to call him back onto the sheep. And now he's asking him right again. So it won't be a clean outrun, the second outrun, but the line now is excellent. Yeah, once he locked on there, it was textbook, wasn't it? It really was. The sheep are looking at the dog, the dog looking at the sheep. This is where the dog needs now to exert his authority. The sheep have accepted the dog. 
and away they walk, knowing that that dog is in charge. Five points lost for the second outrun. Maximum scored for the lift. So there could be problems here. They're going to go missing now, the group of sheep. And we can see the first group running back towards the wood. So this is going to be interesting. He's got to get the sheep round the wood. And yet they're coming down. So they're going to be now, they're coming the wrong side of the wood. All well. the sheep have linked up together. This is problems, but at the same time, let's see if he can get them all through that fetch gate. Well, the idea was just to bring the second group through. So what does it mean now that he's bringing all 14 through? Well, that's all right. The judges won't be taking points off that. But they're together now, and uh, he's made a good recovery from what could have been a, a disaster building. But here's where they need to put that little bit of pressure on as they come up towards uh, the judges and our commentary box. The sheep just hold back a little bit. So the dog's having to work hard to push them round. They're turning downhill a little bit, so Joe comes round fast to the right. He's covered. Twelve for the fetch. Well, it's... Uh, that's the best of a bad job. He made a good recovery there because the, he's got to lose points with that line being wrong on the second fetch. But uh, this is nice. The sheep nicely round, having got through the gates. Collard you leading them. We're just turning high a little bit, so he's turned them down. And then Joe's really got to go fast around that corner to turn them into the gates. Well, so far, so good. They've eased off. And he's asking him round again. Oh. So quick to respond, this dog, from left to right. That is a beautiful turn. And nicely through the gates. So, here we go to that dreaded shedding ring. <laughs> yes. Lie down. Just three points lost on the drive. Three collared use together. There's a chance that he's going to take the outside one. It's on his left now. He's slowly the coming across. They're asking Joe in, and Joe's come straight the way in. Don't grip, Joe. <laughs> That's it. He's taken it, and the judges, have, I think, have accepted it. Maximum points for the single. Lie down. Joe on his feet. Coming Why up don't. nice and steady, the collared you looking round. And will she Three. look Three. inside the pen Three. instead of at Joe? She's turning back again now. Here she is, easing towards, Three. but the back sheep are just spinning Three. off. There's Three. one gone off on its own. And this is what these Beulers can do. If they Goodbye, decide to run Goodbye. off, they race Goodbye. away. Goodbye. And it's Goodbye. the, it's the collared you Goodbye. again. Goodbye. So there's Goodbye. problems, dear, oh dear. <sighs> He's boxing Goodbye. them up as best as he can. Oh, Joe, yeah, Joe's keeping a Lie decent down. distance off. He comes up when he's asked, but he keeps out at the rest of the time. You see how much lower than the sheep he is. He's got his head Lie. down near the ground, and of course the sheep we think they're in with a chance. Thought we were going to get a Goodbye. get a bounce job then. It. Well, it's not going Go. all his way at the moment. But back to the pen mouth. I don't. And I think he'll Lie let down. them settle. And this looks as if the battle has been won. Light. Bobby D. Allen, Lie Joe, down. last sheep to go. And there she goes. Five Lie points down. at the pen. Let's, let's see if that Lie confirms down. our suspicions. It's a score of 125. Let's see how the five-time national champions feeling after that. I had a wee bit of trouble at the turn back. But then when he took it, he took it well. And then I felt it was unlucky. My sheep ran back round the other side of the wood. Ah, it's fair enough. For the run it was, that's fair enough. Well, again, a superb standard, and right throughout this competition, we haven't seen an obstacle missed. We'll start with Alistair and his dog Spot, and really a round where consistency was key, and they were never beaten in the end. It was a tremendous round, it set the standard, as you say. Well, Gwyn had it all to do, and um, he took his time in that shedded ring. <laughs> it was extraordinary. Yeah, it was amazing. I've never seen a dog really so long in the shedding ring, and yet the fella didn't lose a point because he never had an opportunity. But my word, he cut it fine time-wise. And it, I mean, he pulled it out the back walking over there. I mean, we were thinking, has he got enough time to actually open the gate, let alone get the sheep in, but kept us guessing. 
He did, and in they went. Right then, let's have a look at Eamon and Bill. And the problem here was really the look back, wasn't it, with the second gather? Yeah, the dog was about to start to go back the wrong way. Then he corrected him and he recovered from there. And then didn't do a bad trial until the shedding ring. Yeah, half a point for the single. Yeah, it was a shame. Opportunities came and went. It was quite a disaster. Up until the pen. Yeah, finished on a high. He did. Ten finished points. Then. Brilliant. Uh, OK, let's have a look at Bobby then and Joe. And this, to me, sensing this round, it was like a battle all the way through, wasn't it? Quite a few things went wrong and Bobby had to really correct it. Yeah. He was going for perfection, he was going for that good, good line, but unfortunately things went wrong. But he worked well throughout, but it cost him points in the end. Well, it was all about the team competition and he did enough for Scotland so that they could take the title. So here is confirmation of the scores for the singles round. Eamon Lawless came fourth for England. Bobby Diel came third for Scotland. In second place was Gwyn Jones for Wales. And so the winner of the singles round was Ireland's Alistair Lytle. A close run thing, Alistair. We were sitting in the commentary box and working out that it was perhaps 20 years since you were last on one man and his dog. Is it nice to be back? It's very nice to be back, but I think you're giving away my age a little there. <laughs> you must have been very pleased with that round, very pleased yeah. with Spot's performance as well. Yeah, the run went quite well. I fairly good turn back and everything seemed to flow and things fell into place from there and it was just a good day. Well before we get to our final award for this year's champions I know that Matt and Gus have a special award don't you? Yes we do it's the award for the outstanding handler and basically because we've had various age range here over lots of different courses we had to go for the specific round that impressed us the most. We went for a round that where patience paid off and we think it was the fastest pen ever to be seen <laughs> on one man and his dog. Gus who was it? It was Gwyn Jones for Wales with Cluid Nell. There we are Gwyn. How about that then? Did, did you expect that? No, not at all. <laughs> it was a big shock, actually. And, and did you expect that the single would eventually happen? Because you well, spent yes, quite a bit of time in there. Yes, it, you know, it was difficult, but uh, as well, you know, I had to have lots of patience and it came in the end anyway. Very well deserved. And now it's time for the final results of this year's One Man and His Dog. Despite winning two of the three rounds, Ireland have finished last. Wales came third, England took second place, and without winning a single round, but putting in the best overall team performance, Scotland are this year's champions. So it was incredibly close. And I would like to give the trophy. Who's going to take the trophy? I think, Fraser, you should take it. There you go. Very well done to all our competitors. Now, next year is a very special year for one man and his dog. It's our 35th anniversary, so we really look forward to you joining us then. But until next year, it's goodbye from Matt, from Gus, myself, and the whole team. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>